ketchup. Well, this is what my desk normally looks like. Um, it's not that bad. I see people um, sometimes making videos about an honest workspace tour in which they don't tidy up or uh, stage their workspace um, because it's supposed to be apparently dishonest to do so. Uh, I think that's kind of a weird take on that just because you can clean up your workspace. Like it's not <laughs> it's not dishonest to put things away. No one cares if you're messy and no one cares if you're clean, so I don't know why it's a us versus them mentality. It's just kinda weird. Ugh. Ugh. So about the workspace. I have damaged my desk a lot over the years because when I first installed this I thought, you know, maybe I should finish this wood, but I don't really want to um you know, gloss it up and make it look shiny because I really like the way the wood looked. And my friend said, oh, you can just sand it down again and it'll look just like new. But in practice, sanding is not a thing that <laughs> I can do to this table, not unless I had some kind of uh, power sander and a space in which to do that. So you can see that there's lots of cuts and nicks and paint splotches and things. I've seen some people put contact paper on their desks and so when I'm thinking about putting it on this table, I'm so hesitant because this is, you know, it's like a piece of wood. I don't want to, I'm just, I'm thinking of getting, um, a marble finish kind of contact paper. So it's vinyl, but it's painted to look like marble. And apart from the fact that it look, might look tacky in my apartment generally, because my apartment isn't, you know, luxe, um, I'm so hesitant because I'm worried that I might make my table look ugly. Because <laughs> I, I, I definitely want to do something with this table and as it is I can't really clean it. I can't really uh, stain it because uh, it's already stained so that's all going to show through anyway. I just miss when it looked like this. I just I don't want to make it worse. Can it be worse? I don't know. This is how I thumbnail ideas. <laughs> Bare minimum. I'm sure it'll work fine, right? I dipped my paintbrush in my milk one time. Almost drank the paint water one time. Finished this thingy. I woke up a Maggie. I woke up a Maggie. What are you doing, Maggie? You're so cute. You're so cute. Boogers on my screen. Oh my goodness, Maggie. <laughs> You're so cute. It's so small. Can't even focus on it.
Hmm. I'll try you. Thank you. So good. Hmm. Hmm. I love this cute little clover. He's got a cute little flower. Oh, so cute. Where'd you even come from? So there's a moth in here now. I found this container on its side, on the desk. Someone knocked it over. It was open. I've never seen this moth before. I don't know if it's our moth. But there's a moth in here now. Hey. Did you try to kill the moth? Did you knock him down? What happened, Maggie? Did you do this? Did you find a moth and put him inside? What happened here? I don't understand. Oh, uh, yep, that's our moth, all right. Yep, he got out of there. Holy cow. I missed the whole thing. <laughs> I missed the whole thing. Aw, <laughs> oh well. At least he's alive. What you got there, Maggie? You found a roll of toilet paper, did you, Maggie? <laughs> <laughs>